beating Los Angeles in sports. Red Sox over the Dodgers. Patriots over the Rams. There's a reason their hockey team is generally better than the one out here. And there is a reason for all of this because Boston is a city of steak and very little sizzle. That doesn't mean they didn't have Manny Ramirez. That doesn't mean Jason Tatum doesn't have some cool in his game. But the city of Boston with crappy weather, windy, is academically driven, analytically driven. They have a little, little sizzle. They're 95% steak. Los Angeles is, of course, a, a sizzle town. And they've got some, they got some steak too, but it tends to lean closer to 50-50 steak and sizzle. Rams were a lot of sizzle in the Super Bowl. I didn't get a lot of steak. I get, got, a lot, got a, lot, a lot of sizzle. I hear that all the time. Uh, Kyler Murray announced yesterday he's going to play in the NFL. Uh, I would not draft him as a franchise quarterback. I would not, but I do think he's a first-round quarterback. The NFL, uh, the game has changed. There's more college offense in the pros. He has a very nice touch throwing the football. Uh, terrifically athletic. Uh, there are some red flags, though. Number one, size. Okay, he's tiny. Number two, only played 17 college games. Historically, that doesn't work. And, oh, yeah, there was this interview on the Dan Patrick Show. God, I felt sorry for Dan. The kid knew the question was coming, but would you want this to be the leader of your $3 billion franchise? Here you go. Do we have the Dan Patrick interview? Let's just say he was brutal and didn't answer questions. Are you going to the conference? <laughs> I don't know. Dad, is he going to the combine? <laughs> no it, Dad had no comment there. Pro day? I mean, that's after the combine. Yeah, are you going to do a pro day? <laughs> yeah? Uh, yeah. I guess if you want to say, yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. That, that, that's going to be the face of my $3 billion franchise. Knew that re interview was coming and those questions were coming. Had to keep turning to Dad. Okay, he's tiny. Hasn't played many games. That ain't great. Okay, he's going to get drafted, and the NFL's changed, but I want to remind everybody of something. I see this with parenting. I see it with business. The NFL's in a very interesting place now. Is that people are giving up on their principles for sizzle. Big 12 guys run around. Come on, what about Patrick Mahomes? Patrick Mahomes at Kansas City is 95% stake. Yeah, occasionally he throws without looking. He is a 6'3", 228-pound rocket arm quarterback who is great from the pocket. That is all steak. Who's funny in front of a microphone, who's big and tall, who can run but would prefer to throw from the pocket. Don't tell me Patrick Mahomes is sizzle. Patrick Mahomes is about 5%. So that kid is steak. He is big. He is strong. He's got a rocket arm. He is unbelievable in front of a microphone. I'd give my franchise to Patrick Mahomes any day of the week. That kid's a franchise quarterback. Okay, Kyler Murray's small, only played 17 games, and that interview is embarrassing. That is, that's not on Dan Patrick. That is not on Dan Patrick. He's asking legitimate questions. That's on the kid. That's embarrassing. Okay, and let me just say this. This is happening in America now. I saw it in the NFL with Mitch Trubisky. Mitch Trubisky for the Bears has to run to be successful, will never be an elite thrower, and played one year of college. And the Bears drafted him number one. None of those things say number one pick. I mean, Lamar Jackson at least went later in the first round, but Lamar has to run to be successful, will never be an elite thrower, and he became a first-round quarterback. Like, this is the way it works, folks. Six, three or taller, prefer to throw from the pocket. Generally, Less mobility is actually better because it forces you to learn the pocket game faster. Russell Wilson's an outlier. Russell Wilson ran too much early. Then about year three, he totally committed to the pocket, and now he runs. But when Russell Wilson runs, it's all about throwing. He is keeping his eyes downfield. I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw. So Dwayne Haskins of Ohio State is the best quarterback in this draft. He's not athletic. He's just big, tall, and strong and throws the ball accurately. I'll just lay it out right here. I took Darnold over Baker, and I still think 10 years down the road, that's going to be the winning formula. I'll take Ohio State's quarterback. He doesn't run around. He doesn't need to run to be successful. He borders on unathletic. 
he's not really an athlete. In fact, when he runs, his accuracy dips. He can move a little to his throwing side. I'll take the Ohio State guy. I'll take the Ohio State. I'm going to go with a stake. I'm going with 6'4". I'm going with rocket arm. I'm going in the pocket. I'm going with a guy that's got no mobility. I'm taking Dwayne Haskins. Because I'm seeing this now happen all the time in America. But folks, the rules for parenting don't change. Don't give your kid a BMW at 16. <laughs> don't get your daughter uh, enhancements at 16. Don't do that. I don't care what Twitter tells you to do. Love your kid. Go to bed early. Do your homework when you get home from school. Treat others like you like to be treated. Nothing in parenting changes. Be there for your kid, not out partying. Nothing changes with parenting. I don't care about Twitter. Keep them off it most of the time. And nothing changes for quarterbacks. Who's at the Super Bowl? Who runs the current dynasty? By the way, Drew Brees is not ideal height, but all the other things, accurate, pocket, workaholic, grown up, all the things I want, Drew Brees is. I wish he was two inches taller. And Kyler Murray's going to play in the NFL. I'm not saying that. And he's going to get drafted in the first round. I'm not saying that. But, man, I'm seeing NFL teams now. Would Mitch Trubisky really jumped out to me. Bail on long-held, understood beliefs. Just because football has changed a little, it hasn't changed a lot. Good tackling matters. Don't turn the ball over matters. I mean, all the stuff that wins the Super Bowls, be smart. Nope. The New England Patriots, don't get penalized. Never fumble. Never get called for holding. Don't turn the ball over in the red zone. Don't give up many points. Are good with special teams. Are always among the best tacklers. Don't drop passes. That's how New England wins Super Bowls. They don't win Super Bowls because it's like, oh, they got this new crazy fangled wildcat. That wildcat didn't win squat. <laughs> All right. And Mitch Trubisky couldn't win a playoff game. And Lamar Jackson was fun. He didn't win a playoff game. He didn't beat that team he was supposed to beat. He played the second time either. Stake over sizzle. Dwayne Haskins, my guy. Kyler Murray's going to get drafted 10 years down the road, may even have a better rookie year because nobody's going to know how to defend him initially. Nobody's going to know how to defend Kyler Murray when he comes in the league for the first 12, 15 games. They're going to be like, "What? good Lord, where is that guy? I can't see him. But I'll take Haskins 12 years in. Joy with the news. No, 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 no. Turn on the news. This is the Herdline News. So the Celtics are currently fifth in the East. They're going through a little rough stretch both on and off the court. After losing to the Lakers on a Rondo buzzer beater, they blew a 28-point lead to the Clippers on Saturday and were booed off their home court. And now Brian Windhorst is reporting that Jason Tatum wouldn't mind getting traded to the Pelicans this summer as a part of a deal for what? Anthony Davis. What? Excuse me? Yes. He said on ESPN Radio, the gossip is Jason Tatum wouldn't mind if he's shipped to New Orleans and has a chance to be the face of a franchise God, somewhere God. because he's not going to get that opportunity in Boston, at least not in the immediate future. Now, this may sound dramatic, but he's averaging 18.3 points per game in 36 minutes with the Celtics. He really should have been the number one overall pick. Yes, yes, that's fine, but Michael Jordan wasn't. Okay, but Tatum really has hardened post-OKC potential. He does. Does he want to win or not? Uh, is, are they going to win in well, Boston? I mean, Boston? Is this situation I mean, really going to turn out the way that they're planning on it? They've so got what? a lot of guys playing for contracts. I'm not, a lot of young guys. They have huge chemistry issues. Do you have a good coach and a good GM, and are you well-funded? And do you have history? I think Jason Jason Tatum has the potential to lead a franchise. He's not going to get that opportunity in Boston. Okay, so so again, what ma just what matters? Do you want to win? Because he'll get paid there. By the way, he'll get paid a lot of money there. That money. I mean, if he if he can do what Harden's doing, would you consider that to be a success? Uh, Harden only won when Chris Paul said, "I'll come play with you." Well, he's not going to play by himself. He's going to need another piece. Yeah, obviously. but nobody nobody wants to play in New Orleans. That's the problem. You're going to go to a franchise nobody wants to play in. That that neighborhood is a neighborhood in New Orleans that other stars don't want to be in. Boston may not be the best place for free agents, but it's a place. It's not Indiana. It might not be the best place for Jason Tatum either, and he's likely going to get moved because he's he's been in lots of trade conversations. So tell me, this is funny. Kyrie Irving's hurt again. Jason Tatum doesn't want to be there. Well, it's it's just a report that well, he wouldn't mind going to New Orleans. Jason Tatum didn't come out and say, trade me. If I came out and said, you know, I wouldn't mind working at the Bravo Network, that's saying I'm not happy here. <laughs> you know, Vice is an interesting channel. I, would, I wouldn't I would say that because I like it where I'm at. 
I, I think Jason Tatum is a very impressive player, and I think he he could be the face of the franchise. If you said, you know, I wouldn't mind marrying my neighbor. She's a very nice lady. That's not a good thing to say for your wife to hear. He didn't say it, though. It's just a report from Brian Windhorst. Uh, the news is always accurate. It's, uh, it's, there's no such thing as fake news. I'm not saying the report is fake news. I'm just saying it's just a report. There's what? no need to panic. What has happened do these players not want to win games? He does want to win games. That's the point. The, the, their situation in Boston is troublesome. It's weird. I Okay. And, and Tatum has that potential. You know, Earl told me at his pre-draft workout. you got to tell people who Earl is. Earl, Earl Watson is my fiance. Yeah. Okay. He was a former coach of the Suns. And a great he, guy and basketball player. Yes. Yeah. He said that he, instead of shooting layups or jump shots for his warm-up, he shot corner threes. And made 35 straight before he was asked to move on to something else. He's a very impressive player. And he may not get his opportunity in Boston. Which is maybe why this report is happening. So after the news came out this morning that Kyler Murray was hiring the same agent as Cliff Kingsbury. Oh boy. We stumbled across an article by our own Jason McIntyre that detailed a potential landing spot for Josh Rosen. Oh lord. Should the Cardinals decide to trade him to New England. There were rumors that Belichick liked Rosen's before last year's draft. So, basically, McIntyre details how this would all work through a trade. The Cardinals would take Kyler Murray. Wait a minute. That's interesting. So, the Cardinals, who have a bad offensive line, I mean, it's really a junk O line. It's